classic British comfort food. This week, we're doing crumpets. Welcome to Best of British. Crumpets are just this quintessentially British breakfast pancake that is just so flipping delicious. It's basically a griddle cake that you cook on the top of your oven or in a griddle pan. It's got this characteristic flat top with all these tiny pores and they're little bucket holders for whatever spread you put on there. And of course you've got to have butter on there so it's just the most indulgent British breakfast pancake basically. They're originally from Wales, they came via the black country and then they went to Lancashire and Manchester and then down to London um, and they're common in the UK and in Ireland, Canada and Australia. I'm going to show you how to make it and it starts with the batter. Making crumpets is so ridiculously easy. You only need five ingredients. You need some strong white bread flour, some baker's yeast, don't get the instant yeast, get this stuff online, it's so worth doing. Then you need some salt and some baking powder, some warm water, you mix that together, let it rest, and we're almost ready to cook them. Take 450 grams of plain bread flour and sift that into a bowl. Now take about 10 grams of salt, take a couple of tablespoons of hot water, 15 grams of baker's yeast to just turn it into a sludge. Pour that in. And now we're taking 600 mils of warm water and we slowly, in batches, add this into the mixture, whisking the batter together. Whisk it until all the lumps come out and then we're gonna set it aside for 10 to 15 minutes to just slightly rise. The batter's done. You've got to let that rest for 10 minutes just to let it rise a little bit. What's key to this is you've got to cook them really slow. And so I'm gonna get a pan on now at a really low heat. See, this is what's exciting about doing crumpets for yourself. Like, look at them. This is why you have to cook it really slowly, is that you cook it on a super low heat. It very slowly browns the bottom and allows the heat to gradually go through the crumpet, making sure that the structure, the integrity of that is cooked all the way through. Thus, at the same time, delivering these little pores that open up at the top of the crumpet. Right, what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna take them up with a cloth, go around with a knife, and then we're going to brown the tops. Look at those beauties. Like, aren't they a work of art? I've just got so much praise for the humble crumpet because you've got so much going on. You've got this beautiful, griddled, snappy bottom, but then you've got the reverse in terms of texture from the top where it's got loads of dimples and it's gnarly. You put the butter on there, it soaks in, and then you've got this beautiful sponginess. All of that's going on in every bite. You know, it's not like a simple pancake where you've pretty much just got like one experience. With this, you've got four or five different elements making it absolutely delicious. And just imagine that with some Marmite on or some honey or some jam. And you've got those potholes that are just saying, feed me, baby. Give me the butter, give me the spread. Like it is just one of the best things that you could have for breakfast or like with a tea in the afternoon. So. That's my first recipe for my new series, Best of British Done. What did you think of it? Are you a fan of crumpets? Oh, I, can't, I can't stop eating them. But is it something that you're gonna cook? If you are, you know the drill. I need to see it at, at Food Busker on Instagram. Send me those pictures, people. If you've got a particular classic British comfort food dish that you wanna see, then let me know and I will rack it up for you, my brothers and sisters. Increase the peace, spread the love, and uh, I ain't got anything else to say, that's it.